What's going on, guys? Welcome to new series. Get out of here. Get that out of here. All right. Yup. So we're starting a new series. We're playing The Legend of Korra, which is available on Steam for 15 euros, uh, which probably means that it's 15 dollars as well. I'm gonna turn off my vibration because I forgot to do that. Um, as for people that actually care about settings and games like this, there is not a lot of options there. It's resolution, full screen, graphics quality, which, interestingly enough, only has normal and smooth. Nobody knows what the difference is. I don't know which one's better. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, there's no subtitles, so uh, don't go into the options, because it's a bit of a bummer. Um, and yeah, don't, maybe, you know what? You can read reviews, I'm just gonna point out that this game is getting a lot of flack in some reviews from IGN and stuff. Um, so supposedly, it's, it's not supposed to be very good. Uh, but I still got it, because I don't trust IGN. Because they're jerks. So anyway, let's start the game. Let's do it. I'm gonna start a new game. Yup. I played it for a couple minutes to see um, what it was like. I'm gonna play on normal. And let's do it. Earth. Fire. Air. Water. Only the Avatar can master all four elements and bring balance to the world. Alright, so that's the intro to the game. I've been told that especially in terms of story, it's very lacking. Um, which is, I, I, can't, I, get it, I get it, you know? But because you see Avatar, I'm a very big fan of the Avatar series, especially the original was just very good. Um, and it's, you know, it's this really funny, sort of quirky series, lots of fun jokes that everybody likes. And that sort of seems to be absent from the game. Um, but it is made by Platinum, so in terms of gameplay, I'm expecting it to be really good. Here we go, look at that. Lots of cool combos. Like I said, no subtitles, so... I'm gonna have to be careful in terms of, uh... in editing that I don't, uh, turn down the game volume too much. What just happened? Fire. Fire, here we go. So we got all kinds of banding. I'm not switching this, it's doing it by itself. Fire breathing? I'm into that. And then air, last lastly. Here we go, summoning little tornadoes and stuff like that. It's so cool. Only the Avatar can master all the Here we go, I... And bring balance to the world. Yep, I know. Alright, here we go, better results, I got a silver medal, not really sure why. Still haven't died yet, because I keep spamming this attack. Here we go. It's Pro Vending Night once again in the semi-finals of our special charity championship tournament. Proceeds will go to the Rebuild Republic City Fund to help prepare the city after Korra's epic battle with that giant man-spirit monster thingamajig two weeks ago. I hope you're not too rusty for this, bro. Me? Uh, I've been working the streets fighting crime. You're the one who's been fake waterbending. Nut tuck! Never fakes! Uh, guys? Can we focus? There's the opening bell! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! And there go Mako and Bobin! Now it's three on one! <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, bring it on! Oh, this is the worst team ever, okay. Round three! So I believe this the story of this game is supposed to be in between the, uh... The second and the third book, maybe? I could be wrong about that. And this is the little pro-bending. Thing, which I believe you'll see more of in the game, at least judging from stories and reviews and things like that. Come here. 
Alright, so you basically knock your opponents back. You dodge stuff they throw at you. Oh, that guy just got... <laughs> Yeah, I played the game for about 15 minutes just to make sure that I would enjoy it. And I thought it was pretty enjoyable. I mean, I can be very harsh when judging a game, but I honestly thought it was very enjoyable in the 15 minutes that I played. Obviously, 15 minutes, not a lot of time. Oh my, that, okay. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. But I'm cool with it, though. Come on. There you go. That was easy. Knockout. Yay, I got a... What is that? Like, platinum or something? It's gotta be platinum. Game is made by platinum, so... That would make sense. Okay. That's creepy. <laughs> Alright, there you go. You got a gold medal. I actually skipped all the story segments, so I'm not really sure what it's like. Then again, I'm not like a really big story guy when it comes to video games and I'm all about the gameplay, so just want to want to point that out real quick in the first part. All right, here we go. So that's the first uh chapter complete and new era begins. Next up is chapter 2, Powerless. We can switch to casual if you would like to do that. Which it okay, yeah, that's the same chapter, it's just easier. So not really any reason to do that. All right, there he goes. So it's basically maybe Tenzin can help me figure out what's going on. I'm pretty sure it's basically the same as um a little come on, a little arc in the uh, in the actual series where people lose bending and stuff. Yep, that guy's creepy. I'm afraid I cannot allow you to leave now, Avatar. All right, let's do this. I might not be able to bend, but my fists still work. I think it's a weird choice to, honestly, um, to make it like a cool bending game and then immediately take away bending from the player. But uh, it's cool because you still get to fight. Chi blocker still here. That old guy must be calling the shots. But who is he? You can just destroy all these little chests for like. Little bits of spirit, whatever, but I don't want to do that because that will take a lot of time. I don't even have a lot of time. All right, here we go. Let's just beat these guys up. These guys sort of fight like people do in a lot of games where they come at you one by one, which is pretty. Can I beat up car? I can beat up cars. I am into that. Okay. Um, but they come at you one by one and they fight you one by one a lot of the time, it seems. Again, all my experience with this game is like 15 minutes, so it might change later on in the game and stuff like that. Don't take my word for it. All right, here we go. Let's do this, man. Hey, where are you going? I want to try to counter someone. I don't even know what that B finishing thing does. There we go. Counter. Yep, there you go. All right. This guy's down. And hey, where'd he go? 
Oh, there we go. So I can lock onto them as well. That's cool. I don't think I really need it right now, but it's an option. I have to keep that one in mind. Alright, let's do this, dudes. Let's fight. Although, countering is definitely the coolest way uh, to deal with them. I like it. Alright, done with that. Let's keep... Can I... I can destroy entire trucks? Oh my god. Well, that was not worth it at all. That took like five seconds and I got nothing. Let's just keep going. Do, 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 do. This reminds me of the Mario star thing. I made a star. You can't hurt me. Alright. They obviously can. Ooh, that's a cool bending style. I'm into that. Alright, so if you counter them, you can actually hit multiple enemies at once. So it actually is just a very... Oh, boy. Wait, what's... Stop it. All right, I'm not dead yet. It's green. What's happening here? Everything is green. I... Okay, what was that all about? Uh, hello. What is that? You can find, find various vanity items in chests, ranging from common objects to very rare ones. These items can be equipped and don't help in battle, but at the end of the chapter, these items are added to your collection and provide a spirit energy reward. I just found a fish. Thanks, man. I love fish. Oh, this isn't good at all. I am messing it up. I promise. When I was playing by myself, I was doing a lot better. Obviously, I can't prove it, but... I was. Oh, this guy's here. Hey, where'd you go? Get back here. Get me out of this maze. Naga. Oh man. This is a lot of guys. I have to counter them really well. Oh, look at that. I got healed up. Because of the counter, I'm guessing. Alright, there's some more guys down. Get beat up. There we go. Alright. Another platinum medal. What's up with these guys doing weird acrobatics? Whoa, that's cool. Okay. So obviously, even your unarmed uh, fighting style changes depending on your uh, your bending style or element you have equipped. Right now, I'm using air, in case you haven't noticed. Which means very quick. Hey, where'd he go? Did he just kill himself? That was silly. I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. But that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> oh man, they ride bikes now, huh? Um, Alright, yep. Yeah. Jumping. Can I counter them? Oh man! I, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> oh my god. He is getting beat up. That's not good for him at all. Hey, come on. Definitely counter that. That's what I feel like. It's probably not correct. Like, I don't even know how to counter effectively, but... I'm sure I'll figure it out. Alright, that guy's down. Let's keep doing this. This is working for me. Boom. No, what? what's up with this smoke? What is that weird effect? It's extremely annoying, so I guess it does serve its purpose. And it makes it impossible for me to counter, which also... I don't enjoy very much. Just me and you, huh? Wow, this guy is putting up a fight. Good for you, man. Got a silver medal. Oh, that's terrible. This is shameful. I bring shame upon my family. Come on! Counter! Gonna need some more counters. Oh my god. That's too many guys. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Naga, good girl. We've got to get to Tenzin. He'll know what to do. Ha! Alright, so that is the... 
the the Naga is the the polar bear dog or something. I don't even know what what Naga is. It's a weird animal. All right, so I've already read in some reviews and stuff that there's a couple of segments like this. Um, if you hate them, well, I have bad news for you then, which I already told you is that there's some of these. I myself find them pretty enjoyable. They're nice and challenging. I actually messed up on the first one. Like, I did this one, and then I stopped playing because I wanted to record the rest of it. Slide. So you got these little things you gotta do. Like, sometimes you have to jump, sometimes you have to slide. Alright, jump. Jump. Miss that one. Oh, man. Just hit a car. Do not hit cars. Got that. I'm pretty sure it's okay if you miss stuff. But I did not worry about that actually at all. Here we go. Oh my god. And things just sort of speed up like this throughout the segment. Like we're not we're barely halfway done. They're pretty long, and a lot of reviewers were very angry about it because they kept losing. Which I guess I can imagine. Like if you don't have fast reflexes and you get annoyed easily at stuff like this, then yeah. I mean, obviously this wouldn't be enjoyable to you then. I think this is where I messed up last time. I did fine now, though. Oh man, okay, I take that back. I just killed my dog. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> wow, that was pretty brutal. She actually runs up straight into a wall if you let her. So... I'm gonna try to avoid that for now. Do I get more? Yeah, alright, so different colors that are, you know, not blue are worth more spirit energy, which is basically the uh, the currency in this game. And, you know, you'll see that in a sec. And here we go, mission accomplished. Good job, girl. Still got a platinum medal, so that's good. And there we go. That was the, uh, what's it called? Like the, the Endless Runner or something? Infinite Runner? Got a silver medal. I'll take it. Because that could have been worse, honestly. Alright. Item bonus. Tui and La. 800 bonus experience. Or, you know, spirit energy. But same thing, really. And that was the second chapter. Naga running practice unlocked. Select chapter 2 and press left stick. Playing this practice stage will not affect your overall medal score. Alrighty then. Connection with the Avatar. And I am honored to help whenever I can. Alright, so we unlocked chapter three. The battle for Air Temple Island, but first uh, we can now access the spirit shell by pressing Y, so let's check this out. Hello, Korra. I may have something to make your journey a little bit easier. But remember, nothing worthwhile ever comes without a price. Thank you, Iro, for this great wisdom. You can buy various items at the shop using spirit energy. All right. So what I just... This is like the last thing I checked before I uh, stop playing. I promise. After this, everything is going to be new to me. Um, so there's stuff like, you know, healer's water, which is... It just heals you up and stuff like that, which seems helpful and they're very cheap. So I'll buy some of those. Why not? Um... Uh, all right, sold out more than hot leaf. I just got an achievement for that, I guess. Uh, Qatar is oa Oasis Water. If Chorus health reaches zero, this item is consumed and Chorus revived at full health. I'll buy that, sure. Um, all right, so then we got some talismans and stuff like that. Talisman healing, talisman two edged blade. And what they do is, for example, this one doubles your health but halves your attack power. This helps you earn more spirit energy with big combos. So I'm pretty sure this is sort of like a permanent item you can equip. Um, to make stuff easier or harder or whatever you'd like. So this one, for example, would uh, permanently regenerate your health slowly, which is pretty cool. That seems very helpful. Uh, or this one doubles your attack, but halves uh, your health bar, which is dangerous. But then again, you know, no pain, no gain, all that jazz. So there's a bunch of different items around uh, this stuff, which adds different combos and things like that, I think. It seems pretty fun. But obviously, I can't really mess around with it right now. 
Anyway. You. Come again. you can equip newly purchased items in Cora's room. Cora's room can be accessed by pressing back on the chapter select screen. I'm home. Alright, here we go. In Cora's room, you can equip items you've purchased in the store and confirm the available combos for each bending style. You can equip items to the four directions on the D-pad. Once equipped, the items take effect during stages. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that, and go with this bad boy. And you can also change her costume, but they're not available right now, so I'm actually kind of curious to see what they will do. So you have to complete story mode, enter the secret code on this screen, I don't have one of those, so I have to look that up, I guess. Complete story mode on extreme, and another secret code, so... That seems pretty cool, there's some costumes and stuff like that. Um, for a $15 game, I think there's a lot of content there. Oh, press start, okay, collection. I did not have this last time around, so I got the uh, Tui and La, the spirits of the moon and the ocean were in a chest in a back alley of the city. That <laughs> Why would you treat your spirits like that, man? So that's cool. There's, if you look around, you can probably find more items. I'm not much of an explorer in that regard. Like, I don't check any nook and cranny, because that will take so long. Um, but, you know, that's fun for people that like doing that. Anyway, in the next part, we're going to check out the bell for Air Temple Island. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like or subscribing because that really helps out. And uh, I really only ask that when I start a new series, so don't worry. From here on out, I'm going to never ask for likes in this series again. Maybe on the last episode. But aside from that, I won't do it. So if you could do that, appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next, uh, in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.